Hey guys, so I rarely do favorites videos, but this month I just had a bunch of crap that I'm like in love with and I was like, oh, maybe I'll write a blog post about everything individually, but <laughs> I don't have time to do that. So I'm just doing a favorites video. Uh, you should thumbs up the video if you want to see more of these because I do buy a lot of crap. I have a serious addiction to shopping. It is a problem and yet there's a solution to it, you know, just make more money spend more money everybody's happy the other day i was like i went out of town so i wanted to get a new foundation because i was almost out and i always use the l'oreal true match and i normally use n2 which does not quite match my skin i think it's like a little dark i don't know what the undertones are but they're not whatever the hell my undertones are so um i ended up having to get w2 uh which is the warm one and uh, it's too light, right? So I combined it with my CoverGirl Outlast, whatever, the three-in-one, you know, that everybody talks about. This one's uh, the color 820 with the True Match in W2. Holy crap, this has created the most perfect complexion. Like, I'm not white, I'm not orange, you can't even tell, like face to neck to like boob area, you can't even tell that I'm wearing foundation. I mean, obviously, if you get all up close and personal, of course you can see some, but this is glorious. I can't even believe it. And with these two things, my regular uh, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and a Beauty Blender, like my face is flawless. Anywho. Next up, the Maybelline Define, Define a Brow? Brow line? Define a Brow, Define a Brow. Um, I've been using this for a little while. I don't know how many different things I have bought for my eyebrows because you watch YouTube and one person's like, oh my god, I love the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the other person's like, oh look at my brow bar from Whitening Lightning. This is a sponsored video. Everyone talks about all these different brow products and I'm like, dude, I just need one thing that will work and I don't want to take 18 minutes to do my eyebrows. Like my eyebrows are already there. It shouldn't take me that long to make them just a little bit more there, you know? So this thing has been amazing like, this stuff is bomb and it's super easy to do my eyebrows because i kind of suck at doing my makeup so if you suck at doing your makeup and you want to be awesome like me you should buy this and it's got a fancy little brush which i never use so i have this eyeliner from kat von d uh the autograph pencil and puro amor amor it's in black basically it's the color black um it's super small like i don't know if this is normal size or what I but it is the bomb like i put it on and it stays on i mentioned it on my instagram i fell asleep with a full face of makeup because i got wasted one night i'm just kidding i ate a bunch of tamales and i hate i went into like a food coma and i just didn't have time to take my makeup off before my body just like was like Shah, go to sleep we need to process all of these carbs so I fell asleep with it on one day and I woke up the next day and I didn't look like a hooker. Like I just looked like I took a nap. Not like I took a 12 hour slumber, okay? NYX came out with these butter lipsticks. These things are the bond.com. My only problem is how short the lipstick is. I mentioned this in my like, what's in my bag. These things are awesome. Like this is like a little, <laughs> um, this one's a little light. But they feel really nice, they're not drying or anything like that. I really like it, and I'm not really into lip gloss, so, my next favorite, the Fresh Sugar uh, <clears throat> Lip Balm or whatever. It's like 22, 23 bucks, so it's a little expensive for a damn chapstick, you know, in essence. But I, it's so worth it, and I'm down to the nub, and I'm so sad, and I'm definitely gonna go buy more. But this stuff's amazing, it smells amazing, it's, I mean, it does great things to your lips, it's not drying. Obviously, why would your chapstick be drying? What a stupid thing to say. But it's it's just pretty awesome. And to me, it's actually completely worth the price. I would definitely buy it again. And I definitely will be buying it again. Except uh, another thing, because it is so cold outside. I mean, today I had another freaking snow day or whatever from school. And tomorrow I have another one because it's so cold outside. super drying. It's freezing in my room. I don't know why. But these things are vital. These Vaseline lip therapy things. They are tiny and adorable. I have every single kind that they've come out with. I put them on every single night before bed. It is vital to my lips to put these things on. I like And I got this uh, new palette. I love palettes. I love Lorac and I love Urban Decay. And I have a bunch of Lorac and Urban Decay palettes. So this is my newest one. And it's the Lorac Unzipped palette. I also got this one for Christmas. I've been liking it a lot. My only issue with it is what it looks like. My only issue with it is that a lot of these are shimmery colors. Actually, I think there's only two three mattes there's three mattes colors um which are this one this one and this one 
And uh, I like it. I like the nude colors. I like the pinkish colors, the gold. Uh, and I broke the mirror. Can you tell? I have literally broken the mirror on every single palette that I've ever owned because I pack them all and then I go out of town and then they all get crushed because these fuckers that work at the airport don't care and I'm terrible at packing so it's kind of like a dual thing. All right, and my skin gets super dry so after I take a shower, which is usually at night, um, I've been like just, for the last couple of months actually, I've been using this L'Oreal Youth Code. This is a texture perfecter. Aside from the bottle being totes adorbs, um, it's also really awesome. It's worked great. I've been through a couple of these bottles and it makes my face feel great and it has been perfecting my skin. And as far as my hair goes, I've been loving this Keratin Smooth by Tresemme. This stuff smells, I don't even know. It's a serum. It's supposed to like make your hair smooth, which it totally does. But it smells like Jesus. Like it is amazing. I would just like bathe myself in this if it wasn't a big, you know, if I wasn't going to be like a big greasy mess, I totally would. And um, right along with hair, the Big Sexy Hair Blow Dry Volumizing Gel. I've been using this stuff for a few months now, and I finally like bit the bullet and bought the big one. Oh my god, it makes every difference in the world. I blow dry my hair, like round brush and blow dry it all the time, and this stuff is absolutely vital, okay? It gives my hair so much volume, feels amazing, super lightweight, doesn't leave any residue in my hair. Love this crap, you should buy it. I bought every kind of like expensive lotion and every fancy lotion, and at the end of the day, the things that have worked best are the Curel Foot Therapy for my dry ass crackly feet, which are no longer dry and crackly thanks to the foot therapy. And the Ultra Healing Intensive Dry for extra dry like skin lotion. This crap is amazing. I put it on every single night. Again, slather myself up in it every single night before I go to sleep. And it is amazing. It keeps my skin super hydrated. And that is really saying something considering the fact that it's like negative 30 wind chill right now. Uh, also, I mentioned that I've been whitening my teeth and someone was like, oh, you should do a whitening teeth video. And I was like, nah, I ain't got time for that. So I have been using the Rembrandt whitening strips. These are the stain dissolving strips. There are like 50 something of them in here. It takes five to 10 minutes. You put them on your teeth and um, they dissolve. Oh, they totally dissolve. No, the hell they don't. Be prepared to brush your teeth rinse your teeth because it's going to leave a residue in there but they do work they do whiten your teeth i've noticed that they've worked after only a few minutes and i'm loving these things uh also electronic wise um i have an ipad mini and i've been like uh been going on i went on a trip recently and i'll be going on another one uh shortly and i love to take my ipad and stuff with me and i've been using it a lot for school lately and i have a bunch of cases but this one is by far my favorite it is a Harry Potter case. It's got the little, uh, you know, the popular thing where they put the little stud things on the bottom. And it's leather and it has a sweet belt thing and it's got the, um, you, okay, if you're a Harry Potter person, you know what this is. And if you're not, then I'm not going to explain it to you. But anyway, the inside is also gorgeous. It's a very, very, very high quality case. It's from Etsy. Um, I actually got it as a gift from my ex-boyfriend. And I wonder if he regrets giving it to me because we weren't even together. But anyway, shout out. Thank you for the present. And then I have the Carbon Audio Pocket Speaker. I did a whole post on this. It was actually a sponsored post. Um, so I did get paid for it or whatever. But this speaker is amazing. It was $100. I got it at the Apple Store. It's a speaker that connects via Bluetooth to your phone, to your laptop, to your iPad, to anything basically. And it just blasts music from both sides. It has speakers on both sides. So it's 360 audio. Uh, I would totally suggest the Carbon Audio Pocket Speaker. It's amazing. Anyway, that's it. Let me know if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. I was kind of rushing because my battery's about to die. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.